Hey guys, Wee Man here. Today I got an unboxing video for you. It's going to be the Western Digital 320GB MyBook Essential Edition 2.0 external hard drive. Um, and then the features on it, uh, it's got USB 2.0 interface. Uh, it's very small, as you'll see in the unboxing. It takes up no more space than a paperback book. Um, it's smart and energy efficient. This has a feature where it turns itself on and off with your computer so you don't have to do it manually but you can if you want there's a switch on it and it does work with PC and Mac uh, you can put photos and all anything you want on a hard drive or you could back up your computer so it's a good thing to have if you if your computer has problems you have to have one of these um, the requirements that you have to have are a, an available USB port Windows 2000 XP Vista or Mac OS 10.4.8 or later so without wasting any more of your time, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, now I got this refurbished from eBay. So it may not be in the original packaging in here, but I did get it for cheap. It's only 60 bucks for 320 gigs, so it's a good deal. So let's see what we got in here. Tips to get you started. So just a tip guide, and I got it from Grassroots Computers, they have an online store on eBay. Okay, so right inside, you got this, pull this out, and then you got your hard drive right here. So there's the hard drive, and we got some accessories here. Here's the USB cable, just a regular cable, and then you got your power. There's no brick in the center of it, but then you got that brick where you plug it in, so it's not too bad. And then here's the hard drive, so as you can see it's not too big. And there it is. Compared to the iPod Touch, you can see there, it's about one and a half length of the iPod Touch, and then about twice in width. So it's not too big. Let's take this off. Very shiny. So there you got your mini USB to regular USB, plug it into your computer, and then the power. And then there's a light right here. Okay, I've got a quick correction to make about what I said before. Um, there actually is no button on the back of this hard drive to turn it off and on. It automatically turns on and off with your computer whether you want it to or not, if it is connected to it. So the only way to get it to not turn on is to disconnect it from your computer or unplug the power from the back of it. So I'm going to plug it in now for the first time and we'll see what happens. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to plug it into a regular USB slot back here. Then you can see the light turns on and up there it's installing it. Installing device driver software. Your devices are ready to use. So then let's see what happens here. Allow it. And then you get this that comes up. So agree to the terms of service. Then it's got all these on it. Auto sync keeps your latest work with all your keeps your latest work with all you with you at all times. Safeguard your files and encryption with encryption simple flexible sync plan so these are all just if you wanted to sync it with your computer or lock your data on there so stuff like that let's see if it shows up in my computer so yep western digital my book 297 gigabytes free and then you got all their stuff in there 
Okay, so I'm going to use this for um, a few weeks and then I will do a review on it. So be looking for that. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe, rate, and comment. I'll see you guys again soon.